Right, so we have these winds really picking up right now. So we saw right there, uh, we're looking at our usual wind prone areas, starting to see those winds whipping up. And then on top of that, some other areas that usually we don't see too much of the wind right along the coast where we're starting to see those winds really gusting up. So we not only do we have wind advisories, but some of the strongest, most damaging winds will be over the foothills and mountains of LA and Ventura County, which also includes the Santa Clarita Valley. So high wind warning goes into effect and then stays with us until Saturday afternoon where we could see gusts anywhere from 50 to 60 miles per hour. Wind advisories in the light brown means that we could see gusts anywhere from 40 to 50 miles per hour. And that also includes the mountains of San Bernardino and Orange County. Here's a look at our sustained winds. So you can see those winds really picking up through the Antelope Valley through Lancaster, also going through the Van Nuys area. We do have those breezes picking up also for Burbank. So the winds will continue to stick around even into the overnight hours. And then by tomorrow morning, we will start to see more of the winds ramping up, especially in areas like Camarillo and Oxnard. And then we continue to stay pretty windy as we head into the afternoon. There's going to be a little bit of a lull. And then by the time we head into Sunday morning, we're looking at more of those winds picking up in the same places. And these gusty north to northeast winds will also allow us to dry out. And then those temperatures will be a little bit warmer as we head into the beginning of next week. We have a ridging taking place because of that low pressure system that has left the area that brought all that rain again to Northern California, but we didn't see anything here. And so with that ridge of high pressure, it blocks away any other moisture that continues to get closer to uh, the northern part of California and then also the Pacific Northwest. And this high pressure system is going to basically park there for the next few days and continue to strengthen. So by the middle of next week, we're talking even hotter temperatures. So get ready for summer light conditions tonight. We don't have a lot of cloud coverage, just those winds. So in our wind prone areas, we're looking at warmer overnight lows, 50s for Santa Clarita, 52 for Van Nuys, but a lot colder for areas like Burbank, downtown LA, Ontario, and then also the Riverside area. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast as we head into the weekend. Temperatures will be slightly above average. 60s and 70s will continue on into Monday and Tuesday. And then 70s and 80s start to pop up as we head into Wednesday, ending into the end of next week. We do have upper 60s for the Inland Empire for the next few days with 70s on Monday, low 60s for the high deserts. And then going to the mid 60s by Tuesday, you can see 70s returning on Thursday. And our mountain communities will start to see those temperatures in the upper 40s for the next few days with temperatures finally topping out into the low 60s by the end of the week. Back to you guys.